Good evening, everyone. Big night in high school basketball tonight. Round four of the state playoffs went down this evening, featuring the Laney girls and new Hanover guys. Winner on to the Eastern Finals. For the loser, it's the end of the road. So let's check in with those new Hanover Wildcats on the road against Northside Jacksonville tonight. Strong start here for Gabe Kirkendall. He knocks down the three. But the Cats will hang around in this game. Ramella Williams rises up, hits the jumper. Good play there. Now Kirkendall back all over it again for the Monarchs. Northside Jacksonville battled with New Hanover, and it came down to the final possession. Tyler Steinman looking for Romello Williams. He finds him. Shot does not go. Season ends for the Wildcats. It's a close battle. Turns into a two-point win for Northside Jacksonville, 57-55, bringing the Monarchs' win streak to 58 games. In his final game, Freddie Taylor led the Wildcats with 15 points. Hayden Edgar and Romello Williams were both in double figures, but the 21 turnovers ultimately cost them the upset victory. Now, the fortunes were certainly different for the Laney girls, who are moving on to the 4A Eastern Finals following their victory over second-seeded Heritage 52-45. Laney trailed at the half, but closed the gap thanks in part to the terrific play by freshman Sanaya Rivers, who hit a buzzer beater to head into the fourth quarter. The Bucks will take on top-seeded Southeast Raleigh Saturday. Winner moves on to the state title game. Good luck, girls. Now, while the basketball Cats were playing tonight, the baseball Cats got back in action this evening as well. New Hanover made it to the state championship game last year, and the quest is back on to make it to that once again. Got to say, it's nice to see baseball back at Buck Hardy Field this evening. Wildcats open up the year with a non-conference matchup against Clayton. Blake Walson already in mid-season form in the first inning. There's a strikeout. He had three in the first inning. Three Ks in the second inning. Third inning, you already know what I'm going to say. There it is, three more. And in the fourth, three more batters sit down. Walston is done after four scoreless innings, tossing 12 strikeouts. And in the fourth inning, Brett Kemp already had a double, and here's another one for the senior. That will set up some serious scoring in the inning for the Cats. 4-1 now when Blake Walston comes up, hits a blooper out to left field. That will bring his teammate Jack Kroom screaming home for the score, and the Cats continue to add it on from there. 8-1 start for the season for the reigning Eastern Conference champs. We caught up with Blake Walston after his big game. You know, I couldn't have done it without, like, all of our other players. I mean, I was just on my game tonight. That was a good team that we played. So it's great motivation, you know, just the start of the season to, to go out there and beat a team 8-1. to I mean, you can't do much better than that. We hit the ball well. We pitched well all around. We played defense. So I'm hoping for another good season. While one era begins at New Hanover, an era ended tonight in Chapel Hill where Joel Berry, Theo Pinson, and the defending national champion Tar Heels hosted their final regular season home game of the year against Miami. Senior night for the Heels, and here's graduate senior Cam Johnson coming up right here, stepping up, hitting the big three for UNC. I'll put them ahead 12-8. Big night for Johnson. He had 20 this evening. Kane's trying to get it back. Another big night. Ibuka in Zudu gets the bucket and the foul. He gave UNC trouble, trouble with his 12 points. And here's two more of them right here. He's going to find it down the lane for the slam. You starting to get a little momentum and pull away in this game. But Theo Pinson from the corner gets himself the nice basket there to get the home crowd fired up. But Miami jumped out to the lead, and they would continue to go. This, event, this one was tied with 10 seconds left, but it's Jaquan Newton hit the game-winning three. No time left. Stunned the heels, 91-88. High school and college basketball tomorrow as well as UNCW softball. Looking forward to a great Wednesday.